To open up the object browser, go to view and open it up right here. After future updates, it might not be here anymore. Just look around and you'll find it. The object browser is amazing. It contains everything you can really do in scripting. For example, if I ever need to use sparkles, I can find them here and it gives me a summary. It also tells me what it is. It's an instance. In the top right here, you'll find things we can do with the sparkles. For example, in the script, if we want to destroy some sparkles, what we could do is destroy them using this function. You'll learn how to do that later. Let's say I wanted to run some code when the sparkles got destroyed. In the object browser, I can see that there's an event for when they get destroyed. Basically, if there's an event for it, I can add code to that. That means that when this is destroyed, this event will go off, which means I can run code. If that did not make any sense to you, don't worry. We're going to be learning about events in just a little bit. Right here, I found the part. And if you scroll down to these blue blocks, you'll see all the properties that we've been looking at. For example, you can see the brick color and you can also see transparency. The object browser is great because you can see all the events, functions, and properties of every object in the game. This can be really helpful when you're scripting or if you're stuck. And one more thing, if you don't know what something does, you can always find it in the object browser and read the summary. 